Guys, a lot of time we look at companies and based on what we see on the media and I'm as guilty as everybody else. Um, and based on what we see on the media or what we hear and all that, we automatically think that company is successful. Um, that's very interesting because uh, until I became an entrepreneur, I understood that what's on the surface, it's not really the full story, right? Compared to the below surface, it's just like an iceberg. What you see on the surface, it's much, much smaller than what's below surface. And that's how um, entrepre businesses are or entrepreneurship or whatever you want to call it. You know, and um, and I'm as guilty because I used to, to think that, you know, you read about something, you you look at a company, you, you see on the stories and all that. And and it's, it's very interesting that we associate and I, I've talked about this in previous vlog, but I want to talk about this again. And I hope this is the last time because I always trying to educate people. People associate fundraising with success. Guys, it's so far from the truth. You cannot build a business by raising money. Raising money is not a business model, right? Raising money is a tool to help you get from point A to point B. And then you raise again from point B to point C, you know? But nowadays, especially the younger generation, they see a company raising money and they automatically associate that company with a successful company. Do I believe Airred is successful? Hell no. We are a long way from success. You know, this is a this is a 10, 15, 20 year uh, 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 um, goal that we have and, and to get where we want to be. Now, of course, success varies from from different uh, 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 people, but it, it, we, we far from success. You know, we we just crashed the surface. You know, just on the technology development alone took us uh, a few years, you know. Now, you can break down success, but that's not the point of this uh, uh, vlog. The point of the vlog is, you know, you need to look below the surface, ask questions, do your research and all those things. Then you'll have a better picture of what's happening uh, to a company. Because a lot of time you see companies raising hundreds of millions of dollars and a few years later they, they go bust, you know, because they didn't build what? A sustainable business. It's two things I value the most in business. Two things, sustainability, efficiency. Sustainability, two main things. I'm not going to say they're the only thing, but there's two, two main things. Efficiency, sustainability. If you don't have that, you don't have a successful business. What you have is, uh, is I don't even know what the word is. But um, so looking outside in, a lot of people, you know, look at something on the outside and don't get the full picture. So get the full picture, guys. You know, when I first started, uh, my business was 1999. I was 21. And when I say business, I mean, it's a hard word, but uh, I was uh, was doing sales, independent sales for water filtration company called Equinox. And I'll talk a little bit about that on the book. But uh, from 1999 to about 09, you know, I fell. I was failing, 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 you know, and uh, I always tell people, man, there's nothing uh, cool about being an entrepreneur. Yeah, it's great when you achieve uh, your goals, which is what success is, is when you achieve what your, your, your goal set, what you set your goal into, you know, so you, you, you start something whatever dream or vision you have, you set your goals of what uh, what you need to do to be sustainable. And then when you get there, that's success uh, to me. For 10 years, man, there was no glamour in that journey, none. 
There was days I was on my knees crying. I'm not lying to you guys, crying, asking God, why me? I thought, I used to think God had a beef against me. I started thinking about all the bad stuff I did in high school and when I was young. Maybe I'm being punished. That's a, that's a bunch of bullshit, by the way, you know? But that's what I used to believe. I, I used to look for blame for everywhere else but me. For a long time, it was never the case of the discussion about what am I doing wrong? That was never the discussion. But when I started asking that question, things start changing. What was I doing wrong? You see, when we become successful, we take credit for it. But when we fail, we're trying to blame everybody else. Why is that? It's a mindset issue. If, you wanna, if you're gonna claim your success, you better claim your failure. You better own it. Because when you own it, you learn from it. When you own it, you start asking yourself the right question. You know, you start asking yourself um, the question that you need to answer to figure out what not to do in the future. So own it. So I was always looking for the blame on everybody else but me. And when I changed that mindset, man, things start changing. You know, and I hope you guys learned that, man. Too many of you guys looking for, you know, reasoning of your failure outside. Why is that? You know, that's not going to work. Oh, man. What a journey, man. Whew. An hour and a half walking. Had a squeeze of vlog in between, but uh, continue to the success uh, conversation we were having earlier. You know, there's no shortcut to success. I've talked about it in a few of the other vlogs, but there's none. There's none. I try. I challenge anyone to uh, come up with a roadmap or a shortcut. There's no shortcut. I used to believe so. I always got in trouble. And uh, I talk about some of that stuff on the book. But yeah, man, uh, you know, and a lot of us when we're young, we think we're smarter than our parents. We think we're smarter than, uh, than everybody else. We got that young blood, like they say. And then we tend to make mistakes because we don't listen to our elders. We were young at one point, learn. And of course, each generation changed, but still, knowledge is useful for every generation. So uh, the idea is you need to understand and have a long-term approach of things. Uh, and I talk about how you want to be successful, how you want to share, you know, information. All that takes time. Um, and you need to listen. When you're young, you should listen more than you speak. That was also the mistakes that I made when I was younger. You know, and uh, I spent time uh, doing my own way, fall, get back up, and try again. If I listened, the pain would have been much, much uh, less as far as uh, I wouldn't have fall that many times. You know, I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't have went through the, 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 the harder process, the pain and suffering, as long as I did. If I had listened, if I paid more attention to acquire more knowledge and information, I would have done the things, or I would have started on the right foot. But, you know, you can't look back, you can't have uh, regrets, you know, you gotta learn. I'm not regretting anything, it made me who I am today. So look at that, guys. You know, success has uh, different layers.